Doris P here with the Minecraft Invention. But today, let's do some enchanting before the episode. Hmm, I don't have anything on me. Where can I get some stuff? Oh, I know. I have a secret bookcase. Just right click it. Hmm, I don't have any levels, so I might as well just grab all the XP bottles. Just shower in them. Wee. Yeah, we are not gonna get to level 30. Hmm, I feel like enchanting a diamond pickaxe. And of course, we need some obsidian, I mean, lapis. So, let's go. Silk touch. Not bad. Okay, so, I'm sorry y'all have to witness that horrible acting, but the point is, this is a new concept I came up with, hidden bookshelves, bookcases, well not like I came up with it, it's been around, but just made it more compact using the new slime blocks feature in 14w18a, the 1.8 snapshot, so yeah. It's totally invisible. It's you. What? Man, I thought I tested that. I, I didn't know you can bump into it. Strange. Oh, there needs to be a block behind it. My bad. Okay, now I can't click it no more. Yeah, I just screwed up this whole demonstration thing. Look. Okay, none of this ever happened, okay? None of this ever happened. Just grab some blocks real quick. For this you'll need, whoops, detector rails power and power rail rails. Let me grab some building blocks real quick. Hmm. Build off like five off the ground or something like that. Okay, so, yeah, let's go there. Under the books, under the bookshelf, you want to place a sticky piston, two blocks, facing away from your enchanting room, enchanting room, and detector rail on top, with a minecart, with a storage minecart, and you want to click at the farthest point on the rail, like right there. Oh, so we got on the first try. Sometimes it doesn't work on the first try, but. Just like depends on your luck or whatever. So, yeah, totally invisible. You cannot see it. Like seriously, it's not. It's not even there. Like I cannot tell you how many times I lost, like the position of the bookcase when I started um, experimenting with this concept. Like. You just can't see it. It's just impossible. So you can right click it and it'll just pop up. Be sure to leave the piston under it and the blocks behind it. You can replace the blocks if you want, but yeah. Like, I don't want to deal with it right now. Oh, and be careful because you can bump the minecart from the back side. And we do not want that because it'll become visible and it'll just mess up the whole thing. Like you saw there. So yeah, you can click it. You can't click anything else. You can't bump into it. You can't bump into it. So yeah. A very, a very neat um way of storing your enchanting stuff, your enchanting equipment or some, whatever you want to call it. Like in that example I had some balls of enchanting, some lapis, some diamond tools and diamond swords. So yeah, like you can do anything. And you can also hide them in blocks. Like you can have st um, secret storage in your walls or something like that. So yeah, like the possib possibilities are endless. So yeah, just a quick, just a simple, simple way of doing it. it. Used to be more difficult, 
before the feature, but now it's like undescribably simple. You can't you can't do like, but you can. Um, it's not tileable, sadly, because they'll just bump it bump into each other, and mess up the whole thing. It's just I don't even think it's possible. Like, so yeah, you have to like skip a block between each one. Other than that, it's a very cool feature. Okay, seriously, this rain is starting to tick me off. <laughs> I cannot stress enough, like, how, like, this seed, it's just, it hates sunshine. It's just, ugh. Anyways, that's a new concept. That's an um, simplest way to do it so far. And hope you find this useful. Have a wonderful day.